Hello, you are listening to Dr. Shushma Singh. Today in Unit 4, Sustainable Development, let us start our lecture with the topic Sustainable Development, Genesis and Evolution. According to Andrudo, Selva, Gulman and the Graham Woodgate, the concept of sustainable development was the result of a dynamic genesis. Hence, they have attempted to trace its genesis in official international discourse. They have reviewed various international events and publications and schematically brought out their discovery, product and character. Adopting a similar approach, a brief review of the major international events or documents and their contribution to the making of the concept of sustainable development is outlined here. In 1972, the United Nations Conference on Human Environment took place in Stockholm, Sweden. The Stockholm Conference was historical in the sense that environmental problems received a formal recognition for the first time at the global level. The modern industrial societies could realize that there is only one world. It was also recognized that environmental problems are global problems required international solutions. Although the developed countries of the north and the developing countries of the south do not necessarily share the same environmental concerns. A report titled Limits to Growth, the work of the Club of Rome has been credited as the first official study on global environmental deterioration. In this report, there is ecological analysis of industrialism. The report also focused on the prediction, predicted results of the continuing level of resource depletion, pollution and population growth. Due to this report, a sense of realization grew that infinite growth was impossible with finite resources. Then a diagnosis of the factors of the global environmental deterioration be brought out in a report titled Global 2000, commissioned by the US President Jimmy Carter and the published in 1980, underscored that northern lifestyles cannot be reproduced globally. Then in Year 1981, the concept of sustainable development appeared for the first time. It was enshrined in the title of a key document, World Conservation Strategy, Living Resource Conservation for Sustainable Development, published by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, IUCN. The World Wife Wildlife Fund, WWF, and the UN Environmental Program, UNEP. According to the strategy's definition for development to be sustainable, it must take accounts of social and ecological factor as well as the economic one of the living and non-living resource base and of the long term as well as the short term advantages and disadvantages of alternative actions. In 1983, the United Nations set up the World Commission on Environment and Development, WCED, headed by Gro Harlem Brutland, Prime Minister of Norway, as an independent body. Its objective was to re-examine the critical environment and development problems on the planet and to formulate realistic proposals to solve them and to ensure that human progress will be sustained through development without bankrupting the resources of the future generations. 
the wced published its report titles our common future in the year 1987 this report presented the first official definition of the concept of sustainable development the contribution of our common future is threefold first it offers the first official definition of sustainable development second it suggests for the first time an international strategy for confronting the crisis of modernity and the third it brings about the paradigm change in the conventional thinking regarding the notion of development another document caring for the earth a strategy for sustainable living published by IUCN UNEP and WWF in 1991 has suggested a revised global strategy for the conservation of nature more importantly it was recognized by this work that global nature conservation requires the participation of local people in 1992 representatives of over 150 countries met in rio de janeiro brazil for the united nations conference on environmental and development uncd popularly known as earth summit the earth summit established important linkages between the environment and development and contributed to the further development of the concept sustainable development it produced the earth charter a code of conduct or plan of action for the 21st century that is the agenda 21 and local agenda 21 la21 an interpretation of the local issues which came later the climate Con- conventions a conventions to control climate change due to the atmospheric pollution and the biodiversity convention a convention to promote the conservation of biodiversity the rio declaration also set out the framework of principles of conservation and use of forests and established important steps that needed to ensure an environmentally stable and sustainable planet correspondingly at the international level many nation states have been trying to go ahead with the notion of sustainable development they are striving to find out economic and political solutions for environmental problems one also notices periodical attempts to take stock of the progress made by the nations in the direction of sustainable development for instances in 1997 rio plus 5 meet was held in new york in order to assess the progress towards the sustainable development again as a further step the world summit on sustainable development wssd was held at johannesburg from 26th august to 4th september 2002 the johannesburg summit is recognized as rio plus 10 the agenda for this international meet was much beyond the review of the progress made in the direction of sustainable development in the 10 years since rio the agenda included every possible issue related to environment and development energy water and sanit- sanitation health forest consumption pattern poverty trade globalization etc thus the scope of sustainable development was broadened sustainable development was seen as comprising three components economic development social development and environmental protection the newspaper reports which appeared during the summit period highlighted that there were discussions and debates 
over many issues which include call for reduction of poverty saving the planet's fast dwelling resources from further plundering criticism against the european and american pattern of agricultural subsidies and a need to eliminate the trade distorting subsidies dispute on the definition of globalization and demands by the third world countries for more aid finance and fairer trade thus various international events and publications have contributed to the making of the concept of sustainable development let us know understand the definition and meaning of the concept of sustainable development as formulated and elaborated in our common futures this will be discussed in our next lecture Here we want to close our today's lecture thanks for listening